was definitely the aggression we needed. King? Yes! Do you know where we are at? Yes! Where are we? We are at Kudamandra Airfield in Australia with the brightest, best, and most glorious of cars that they have to offer. Is this like some sort of drag race boot camp? Why are we yelling? Why aren't you ready, sir? Where I come from, there's only two types of cars, <laughs> slow and fast. And the way it's looking right now, by the way you're implementing your words into my brain, you are not fast. Yeah, so anyway, we're here. <laughs> Thanks to our friends at NOS Energy for sending us down under. Let's just go look at the cars before somebody gets assaulted. Stand up. Up first, we have something real special. Real, real stupid in, in the best possible way. Please introduce yourself to the oh, people yeah. here. Yeah, hi, my name's Adam, and this is my 1973 Datsun 1200U. First of all, what is the wheelbase on this thing? Because it looks super short. It is super short. The exact, oh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but they're, um, they're like a Japanese, so oh, Datsun 1200, they brought them out there. It is a very short wheelbase car. And what does it weigh? This weighs about uh, 1,100 kilos. So it would be about 20, 20 400 pounds. Something yeah, like that. Something like that, yeah. It's Excuse the flies. I don't know <laughs> yeah, what's going on right now. That's Australia for you. Can, can we talk about your license plate? Uh, yeah, they're all, back then when I first ever built the car, we put this motor in it mm -hmm. and we looked at it and said, oh, fuck that, like. Oh, that's not fuck that. No, no. That's not Japanese. No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Kiss your mother with that mouth. No, no, no wrong. it's <laughs> that, yeah. And then, yeah, so we just thought, it suits the car and. Yeah, yeah. it looks ridiculous. Can yeah. we, tell you what, can we pop the hood off yeah, and get in yeah, the motor? Yeah, yeah, too easy. This is wedged in here so <laughs> damn tight. Now, it I noticed tough. that like your coolant line is like, you got like two millimeters yes. between the belt and this. Does it ever hit that? Look, it's very close, but it all works, so. What's, what's the bottom end of this? Well, this is a six liter cast iron block. Troy from Warspeed, he built the engine. Ah, it's good dude. Still got a uh, standard crank. Like, like a standard stock? Yeah, still stock crank. So wait, is it a is it an LQ4 block? LQ, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you're running a stock LQ4 crank. So crank. from the factory. LS. Yeah, it's a factory crank. It is. What? Whoa. Yeah. And I see you have a nice blower shop blower here. Is this a Correct. 6 or 871? Uh, this is an 871. Okay. What sort of methanol are you running? Are you running M1, M5, or like another brand? Uh, this is like oh, over here with like a VP race uh, methanol fuel yep. here. Nice. For us, it keeps it nice and cool. I see it. Look, this was yeah. running. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's like, it's actually ice cold to the touch. <laughs> Really now, what kind of power does it make? We had it on for, at the engines, probably making about 900, 950 at the motor. So 900 on a stock LQ4 crank. Well, tell you what, let's move on from here. Let's go on the back and get into some suspension yeah, yeah. and wheeled tire stuff. First of all, the wheelbase on this thing is incredibly short. This has to be crazy short. twitchy. Yes, it is very twitchy with the power it's got. When you hit that throttle, it does want to throw you around a fair bit. Ah! This is not your typical setup. You're no, not really no, running not bead locks and, and slicks on here. That's so right. what are you running right now for this versus that? Well, we I just got these. The first time I ran a slick on this car, which is a 26 by 10, okay. um, Mickey Thompson. You actually have brakes in the rear. I do, yes. Wow, yes. those are actually big brakes. So it seems like a lot of the other burnout cars that we have <laughs> seen don't even run brakes. No, so. well, I do street drive this car, so it's... Um, really? Yes. You street drive this? I do street drive this. So does this mean this is street legal? Not street legal. But I do street drive it. <laughs> we'll pretend that it's street legal. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> look at the rear end you got. I see you got some Moser axles in there, but Correct. what's a, is it it's, a nine inch? Or uh, or? Yes, a sheet metal nine inch. It's running 40 spined Moser axles. It's got 3.0 diff gears, so okay. they're high diff gears, so this is more of a burnout car. Yeah, so. okay. 3.0, you know, honestly, with super wide gears like that, I'm assuming you get some crazy wheel speed out of it. Correct, yes. In the bed, really nice work here. I like it. It's all, it's all sheet metal. It is sheet metal. Oh, yes, oh, yes. This is actually nice and thick. Is that just it so is, when, it's, you, it's, when you have tires delamming? Correct, and, yeah, okay. it doesn't hurt it. And then I've run a, like another 15 liter 
tank in the front as so well. So if you're street driving this, how far can you actually get? We probably drove a good 20, 25 minutes, and I did have to, yeah, pull over, top up some fuel, and keep going. 25 so. minutes of run time on <laughs> eight, 90 liters. 90 liters. I don't that's know right. what that is in gallons, but that sounds like a lot. <laughs> let's uh, let's jump into the cockpit. Now, this thing's super clean on the inside. Is the seats wrapped in Alcantara? Is uh, yes, yeah, oh, they yeah, are, man. yes. So, yeah, and they're underneath this seat is a carbon fiber custom seat we got made, based it off a Kirky seat, so nice. sort of match the dash and the door trims. Nice, I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah, th everything yeah. is carbon in here. I see you got a Haltech. Uh, yep, the right? Haltech ECU with the dash here. Yeah, that runs all the, most of all the electrics. It is pretty basic. I didn't even notice this thing had a roll cage. Yes, it's yeah, it's tucked, all tucked so neatly yes. in there. Yeah, right. it is a tucked cage. So. I like the louvers on the uh, back window too. Yeah, that was a new addition we'd done to it, so more of a street sort of look. What trans are you running this? In? So we're running a Turbo 400, oh, yeah, um, okay. three speed, yeah. Gearbox in this, easy to drive. Well, uh, yeah, this looks Absolutely terrifying to drive yeah. and uh, probably worse to ride in. Let's look yeah. at something that looks like it would be a pleasure to ride in, yes. but also equally as terrifying. Well, this may be the best partnership we've ever had. Bunch of city boys like us getting to use farm equipment. Yeah, Hoonigan partnered with Kubota, a tractor company. We know that might sound a little weird at first, but they've supported Ken on his racing program for a couple years in the past. And this year, as we launch our event series, Gymkhana Grid, they're gonna be an integral partner of helping us set up courses with massive obstacles and moving them from city to city. But mostly, Kubota's known for stuff like this, like being on farms. I'll let Zach tell you more about that. So while you may recognize Kubota from their unmistakable Unmistakable orange accents. They make a lot of cool stuff. Namely, those RTV X's are the nation's number one selling diesel utility vehicle. Wild. And let's say you want to pick yourself up one of these bad boys like this M7 here. You can go to KubotaUSA.com. There's a link in the description below, too. And it's got AC. Might just start daily in one of these. What am I doing? Listen, this is what you're doing. You're on a show called This Versus That. Obviously, Mr. What's your name? Jay. I'd like to think you know what the f*** to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cut that. I'm a quarterback this. Tom Brady. Uh, is that your catch? Nah, we don't play freaking. You play rugby? Footy, Aussie rules. Okay, so right now, <laughs> this is a van, van, but not any other van. Both. My name's Jay, and this is my 350Z with a Honda Odyssey body kit. What? <laughs> Bamboozled us the whole time. Gotcha! This is a very sick van, as people know in America. Our Honda Odysseys don't look like this. We get really unsleek looking Honda Odysseys, maybe like the first gen. Yeah. Tell people what you've done to your Honda Odyssey. I basically got a Honda Odyssey as a family car. We loved it so much, we chopped it up and made it handle like a 350Z, so. And why the 2J? I love them. I, I import stuff, so I've always have them kicking around the shop, and I just love them. Reliable, make good power. What power does this make? It's car park tune. It's. It's pretty shit. But dyno? Not really. Nah, it's it's been on dyno, but it didn't work. So I'm estimating 500 horsepower. That is a broad statement for it what is. you are saying right now. <laughs> that is the, ah, I'm gonna just guess. I, well, I'm gonna, <laughs> flies keep getting in my mouth. Tell us to set up turbo, injectors. Okay, so dead stock motor, unopened, stock rocket covers to sump, dead stock, aftermarket turbo manifold custom, G30 900 turbo, and turbo smart 60 mil wastegate, factory inlet with 2000 cc injectors for E85. I've noticed, uh, where is your bonnet? Do you run it like this? Or no, I run it with a bonnet. When I'm driving around with the kids and on the street, it runs a bonnet. We don't get away with no bonnets in Australia. Oh, so you drive this on the street? Oh yeah, definitely. They don't trip on you or does... Uh, Nope. That's, hey, that, that's hey. it. <laughs> you drive your kids in this too? Yeah, definitely. It's got a baby seat still in it. So my, my daughter goes in here. So first of all, I noticed you got a lot of gold parts under your car. Yes. So would you like to take us around for your wheel suspension and tire setup? Yes, for sure. Explain what you got going on here. What you working with, my boy? So because it's Z33, 350Z front end, it runs all their products. I bought their catalog. So the whole front end, drift setup, which is uprights, lower control arms, knuckles, tension rods, you name it. So this is a full drift van. Life is about to be full-blown drift car. It's, I'll street it for a bit more till I get told not to. 
and then it's just going to be a drift car. So what are these uh, thang things you got? The thang things of work VSKF coilover setup. Coilover setup's got BCs. Okay. Once again, 350Z straight off the shelf. Everything's just a Z. Everything. It makes life easy. Well, sure. He mentioned he had a baby seat, so I want to see what's inside this bad boy. Yeah, baby seat. Let's go. So inside, what are you working with here? A lot of custom and a lot of factory. So factory Odyssey Dash, which this Odyssey model is called an RB1. Bright brick seats, recliners all round. Factory Odyssey steering wheel to just remind me where I am. Nice Hoonigan collector's edition handbrake, Chase Bay's handbrake, 350Z. Trans tunnel. I plan to drift with a carload of people. Everyone's got a harness. Everyone's got a race seat. Are you running a CD Trans as well? CD009 and an OS twin plate clutch. Notice you got some type of large cooler in the back. Or what do you guys call coolers out here? That ain't a cooler. That's my fuel system. Well, I'm gonna need you to get your happy ass out this car and show me that, my boy. <laughs> The dent, wow, you hear that? These actually work. Yeah, Whoa. factory too. Seen some seen some luggage in there, but she's a bit scratched up. What is this? Just, it's a fuel cell inside the box. Obviously for safety reasons, they make you box your fuel cell off, so. Okay, well shoot man, you have a magnificent minivan, but the real question is, are you ready to race your competitor? I'm ready to race. Let's get to racing. <laughs> We've been in Australia a couple days now and I've learned everything is not appears what it seems. Did I say that right? Absolutely not. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm gonna just say the, the Jay-Z van, cause it's cool looking. Here's my prediction. First up, gas-fired pizzas, fucking incredible. Secondly, I'm not gonna vote against the blower car, okay? It's too sick. We're gonna go Datsun. So my heart says the Odyssey, but my brain says the Datsun. That blower, those slicks, that's where it's at. The winner is clear already. My man's got 2J rear wheel drive, four seat drift car out of a Honda Odyssey, but it's got VSKFs on it, so I'm gonna go with the burnout car. Number one, Honda Odyssey man has limo tint. Number two, the dude with the small car has a blower bigger than him, so I'm looking over to see him. And number three, none of them are making traction down the whole track. But it sounded like the, the Datsun was like idling down most of the track. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe broke down, had to get out of it, get back in it, you know? I mean, so. it's, a, it's a traction game. Correct. What's the result? Datsun by a little over two cars. Oh, okay. You maybe we did make him do a roll race. That's what I was thinking. Roll That's race? Roll race. What's up, boys? How did this go? Dude, this oh, thing yeah, sounds rank. <laughs> this thing's fast as shit. That's not bad for That's, a drift car. I, I, saw it, I saw it from way back there, and I was like, Yeah, it picks up eventually. <laughs> yeah. So you want to know how much you beat them by? Yeah. Two cars. Two cars. But I want to know. I want to know. It sounded like you were idling most of the way I down did, the track. I did take off, because I didn't see him next to him at all. I shouldn't, yeah, I did take it a little bit easier to start. <laughs> all right, Why all right. are y'all so nice down here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna smash you this yeah. <laughs> Did you not get into it earlier on because of traction or just? This, yeah, off the, off the line, it does smoke okay. the tires pretty hard. So roll luck, roll, oh yeah, take it easy off the okay. line. And mm. What about you? You did a nice third gear slide the whole way. Drift car, still yeah. what it's meant to do. So. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to try doing a roll race? I, yeah. I don't know if you want to start that way, but yeah. I'm down for whatever. We can do it. He's yeah. too nice as well. He's yeah, down no, for no, whatever. I'll tell you what, here's That's what I right. want to see. I want to see you guys roll, and as soon as you cross this line, I want tire smoke from both of you. Yeah. The entire 15 no. <laughs> Give it full beans. Round two.
<laughs> what? Was definitely the aggression we needed, but I'm pretty sure that Datsun from down here looked like he gapped I'm up. standing here and I'm like, damn, that Datsun's getting smaller, but that van ain't getting no bigger. <laughs> I have never heard more on off than that. What? <laughs> it looks scary to drive. Yeah, I, it looks terrifying. Uh, By oh, seven? I, seven cars. <laughs> All right, that was the aggression we needed. Yeah, yeah, God damn. Good attraction, but, this uh, thing sounds good on yeah, the chip. Cheers. I like that. That was good. Yeah, it's feeling slow, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's not slow. Yeah. It's just uh, not as fast. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. I'm down. I'm good with that. Clearly, Dotson, a bit quicker that, on the yeah, big yeah. end. We're thinking we want to give you a shot at yeah. at least yes. taking one home. Yeah. So, <laughs> what we were saying was we do it from a dig, we give you the car, some cars and a hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Try to get him to. Screw up on his like track. Yeah, yeah, done, done. So what do you think? Three, four cars? Three uh, cars to the hit? I, I have no, no. idea. You guys tell yeah. me. All right. I'll give him three. See, I'll give him four three cars. Give him four three, cars? Three four cars. Three, three in the hit. Yeah, three in the hit. Bonus yeah. round. That's it. All right. Bonus round. Yeah. Bonus round. So either something happened to the Odyssey or the Datsun got way better at drag racing. Thing is, yeah. He's on slicks, dude, with bead locks. Yeah, but that was like dialed. Yeah. Sometimes our matchups aren't the greatest. And the reason that is, is because some people will be like, oh, this is what my car runs. Or, you know, like the, the statistics we get leading into this may not be the best or accurate or real. Sometimes they sound like they'll be a good matchup on paper, but then they don't really work out. So in an ideal world, the Odyssey would have mopped up the burnout car, but it just didn't play out like that in real life. Also, but I didn't think the burnout car was gonna show up on slicks with bead locks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens. Donuts it is. <laughs> Amazing. That thing doesn't look easy to drive. 